Hello adventure lovers and a very happy new year to all of you. Motorhome Adventures family wishes you a peaceful but adventurous year ahead. This is the first walk through the conversion of 2023 and this is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle, food truck, and of course, caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it, and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we are going to walk through the newest edition of Motorhome Adventures Caravan Conversion Diaries. A compact home built on an Isuzu D Max, but it is a fully functional home on wheels in every single respect. The name is domicile, which literally means a country that a person treats as their permanent home, only in this case, it is a home on wheels. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. First things first, domicile is a customization done specifically as per one of our client's requirement which means starting from the selection of the base vehicle to the overall floor plan in this case it was all done by the owner of domicile and motorhome adventures helped them customize those requirements while keeping the overall technicality as well as safety in check so the exterior is painted in the lightest shade of gray which makes it appear as a vintage white color we have three m stickers pasted on both the sides these trees adding to the happy camper energy overall. You know the drill, we are going to begin from the exterior and then move to the interior. So to keep the vehicle beastie looking, we have done some exterior customizations on the vehicle itself. First up, we have this steel bumper that has been painted in a black color. We also have projector light, fog light, as well as a winch on the front, which you can use if you are stuck at a particular location or if you want to help somebody who is stuck. Moving on, we have upgraded all the tires to 285-60 R18 tires. And these can take a payload of up to 1.2 ton each. Apart from that, adding to the sturdiness, we have these alloys and these come up with high load rating capacity. Moving to our shell, the complete exterior shell, which is of 10.5 by 6.2 by 6.3 feet, is built up using the auto grade aluminium even the ribs now if you're confused as to what those are those are basically the skeletons of this overall shell up top we have 450 watt solar panels apart from that we have the standard lights five on the front five on the rear there are four security cameras on each of the side apart from that we have a floodlight and a 360 degree camera as well Adding to the overall sturdiness of the asset, we also have two air balloons on the rear end and each of these air balloons can take a payload of up to two tons. We are going to talk about these amenities which look like simple additions but these are not so we are going to talk about these amenities at the very end of the video. We are now on the driver's side and here we have our cavities which are currently holding our power packs for the hydraulic jacks now if you have been on our channel for long you already know the purpose of these but if you're new here first of all what are you doing do subscribe to our channel if you're interested in the van life or the caravan conversions overall because we have some crazy customizations coming your way very very soon as for these jacks these are not here just for making it easier for you to change a busted tire but these also provide you stability when you're parked up at an uneven location. You can also utilize these if you are stuck at a muddy location, although you would rather be using the 4x4s in that situation. Now moving to the co-driver side. Here on the co-driver side, we have first of all our fuel inlet and a black awning with black powder coated pipes, which eliminate any chances of rusting, which is a big relief, I think, for any person who's planning to caravanning during the rainy season. Moving to the rear, here we have our inlet to a 270 litre fresh water tank, on top of which we have, again, a motorhome adventure staple and outdoor shower with both cold and hot water supply. You simply need to connect the pipes here and here. 
you can push it, connect it, and it's locked in that. Again, to remove it, you simply need to push it, and that is that. We are now on the rear of the caravan where we have, first of all, this accessory, which apart from looking cool and adding to the character of this little beast, also serves a purpose. This is a bicycle carrier. You simply pull the lever up and... A few moments later. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So we have these bicycle carriers again, which are adding a character as well as serving a purpose here. Opposite of which, on the rear driver side, we have our genset stored in. This here is a EU30 IS silent petrol genset. If you simply undo the bolts, you can pull it out because this is slidable. And finally, coming to our entryway where we have our hitch staircase. So how it works is you simply unbolt this bring it back down bring it down then the second steps and voila finally moving to the interior but before that these little accessories although can be store bought as well but these ones in particular have been customized in the motorhome adventures headquarters keeping the size as well as the space of this very particular caravan in mind let's hop in the space difference alone is unlike any of our truck campers and unlike other campers, this has a dimension of 10.5 feet in terms of length, 6.5 feet in terms of width and 6.3 feet tall interior. So let's move to the inside, shall we? So this is a comfortable enough area for even me to stretch out. Now moving on, we are first of all going to talk about this area which is our main power unit up here we have our water leveler which is going to tell you when you're about to exhaust the water from your fresh water tank these are the solar chargers switches socket changeovers and the miniature circuit breaker now you'll notice that even though this is a caravan based upon a pickup truck we have ample storage space in the complete caravan especially considering that this is only for two people sleeping and seating accommodation so we have storage more storage and a washing machine can you believe it a washing machine inside a truck camper you'll notice that the complete color palette of this caravan is black white and pine wood but the kitchen countertop that we have is a rubber wood we are going to rotate back to kitchen, but before that, let's head to Motorum Adventures staple, and that is the bathroom area. You already know that building bathrooms on wheels is in fact our USP. In this particular camper, we have a three feet by three and a half feet area, which has the reinforced fiber paneling and all the hardware, including the handle, the toothbrush holder, soap holder, the tap come shower area, towel holder, tissue paper holder has been powder coated in black color. Apart from that, we have a vanity mirror on the rear with an LED light, of course. And this is the first time that we have provided a pneumatic activating valve base commode in a pickup caravan. This commode, because of the technology that we use, only uses less than 30 ml of water per flush, which is how you're going to survive the night of grid. Apart from that, finally marking the end of the washroom area, we have a hatch on the top. So we also have an exhaust fan attached to the overall hatch area. So if you want to have a full sky view, you can simply open up these hatches and push it open. If not, if you simply want to use the exhaust, that is doable as well. And if you want complete privacy, no sunlight, then that is also possible through these blinds. So in our kitchen space, as mentioned, throughout the caravan, we've only used the pine boards on the ceiling and other areas. But this one in particular is a rubber board. 
Now this was supposed to be, this FRP sink was initially supposed to be a complete square area but one of our designers came up with this design so as to save the space on this side particularly and thus we have this cool cutout design on the FRP sink the tap which has been powder coated in black color and this is literally the first time we have provided a dual setup for both a burner, a cooktop as well as an induction and no fumes, no smokes because we have a Motorhome Adventures customized exhaust fan up here. You'll see again speaking about the storage space we have a lot of storage up here, another cabinet and other amenities of the kitchen space is a microwave and a dishwasher. This is going to be a game changer for a person who's going to go caravanning but also wants to have the whole fun without doing any kind of chores. And finally marking the end of our kitchen area, we have a three-way fridge. Yes, you heard it right. This is a Dometic three-way fridge. What it means is that this can function using 12 or 24 volt DC supply, 220 volt AC supply as well as on LPG or propane. Yes, you heard it right, which means it gives you functionality on any of the available energies. Next up, we have our matcha slash coffee station slash seating area that also converts into a bedding area. You'll notice we keep on saying that we have given a lot of storage area in this caravan. So we have storage right here. These are the drawers that we have up there as well. And this one in particular is here to store any of your tall items. Apart from that, we have a TV right here, but this TV can also swivel. So imagine you're wanting to cook something in the kitchen and you want to follow a recipe, you simply put it up there or if you want to stream Motorhome Room Adventures caravan conversions while being in the caravan, you can do so and simply swivel it up to any direction that you want. Up here as well, we have more cabinet spaces. Currently, we have our items stored in. Now, before we head to the final space of this caravan, we are quickly going to talk about the standard amenities. First up, we have these speakers, which can be functioned through the music system that's there on the front, on the cabin area. We have an auto AC, as well as a 1.1 ton static, the cassette AC. We have all the lights, LED lights, and other lights that can be operated through battery. Apart from that, we also have two hashes, one on the front, one on the back excluding the one that is there in the bathroom area. So the purpose of this hatch and the rear one is to be able to have cross ventilation within the caravan, even though this is a decent sized asset. Now moving to the final space of this caravan, which is behind me. This little section here looks nothing less than a cozy cabin in the woods. I think these pine wood details are adding a lot of character to domicile overall. Here we have concealed windows, unlike the front, the kitchen ones and the seating section ones because here we have sliding windows. The same blinds are there, both on the front as well as the rear itself. And that is still not it. This whole area converts into a bedding for up to two people and I'll just show you how. But for that, we'll have to remove our properties. So if you guys can come here or we can insert an overlay, you'll see that we have these pine wood crisscross material which does wonder. And this is again the first. As I said, there are many firsts in this asset. So these pine woods, the crisscross material is what is holding the bed the sofa ultimately which is going to shift into your bedding area so we are going to fix this push it back we have more space and the tree you will have to go and i'll have to climb up top 
ultimately just pushing it back and we have our superb area i'll just open the hatch and voila you'll see that this is a comfortable enough area for two people to sleep and if required i think we could adjust a kit here as well and that still does not conclude this episode of the walk through the conversion you must have noticed that in the beginning of the video we casually bomb dropped two of the amenities two of the additionals which is the 360 camera as well as the suspension and i'll quickly wear my shoes and then this door or the opening that you're seeing towards the cabin area i'm going to hop in there and catch you guys back up So in the beginning of this video we mentioned that we have not done any customization to the cabin area but this right here is a 9 inches infotainment system. This is not like our smart music system that we have in our other caravans. This is going to provide you a 360 view of your asset. And here you have it. If you simply indicate it is going to show you the side on which you have indicated. and if you simply hit reverse it's going to show you the rear area and when it was on the front you could see this is the handle of the winch now apart from this whole setup we also for the very first time i have used the first the word first many times in this video but that is what domicile's concept is all about Usually when we are hardening or softening the air balloons we need to have an external medium or we need to halt at a particular location to be able to do that but here this is the first time that we have provided the setup of air balloons or the like pressure of air balloons changing through a 12 volt dc oil based compressor with 10 bar capacity now mind it this is not your ordinary compressor this is mostly used abroad and that marks the end of this walk through the conversion at motorum adventures we are constantly trying our level best to not only improve the quality of the asset but also to make the assets as per the unique taste of its owner which is why you'll notice that none of our caravans look alike to each other and that is also because we believe that sampling certain stuff according to a particular requirement is not going to satisfy the hunger of a client who has perceived us for the purpose of getting it customized according to their specifications but customizing comes with a cost and that is a constant reminder that we need to channel to have full transparency If you're interested in building this kind of asset or renting an asset, all the details are going to be mentioned in the description box below. We have both self as well as chauffeur driven rentals if you want to first of all try the asset and then venture in in regards with building or owning one of the asset. And that does it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this new caravan conversion that we have domicile A similar asset to this can definitely be built as per your requirement. Thank you so much for coming by Motorman Ventures. Signing off.